Indian media alleges that foreign funding to IRF, the Islamic Research Foundation that is based in Bombay, India, was used in political activities and the NGO's funds were used to attracting youths towards terror and inspiring people towards radical use. As far as Islamic Research Foundation in India is concerned, not a single pie, not a single rupee that we receive, whether from foreign or whether locally, has ever been used for any political activities. And neither has it been used to promote or radicalize anyone towards terrorism. This is a blatant lie. I would like the Indian media to show me proof where have we used even a single rupee either for political activities or for radicalizing anyone or for promoting terrorism of any kind. Further, the Indian media says that IRF in India receives funds mostly from Saudi Arabia and UAE. It received about 10 crores in the past decade, funds collected for charity diverted to Peace TV. As you may be aware that India generally receives its maximum foreign revenue from Saudi Arabia and UAE. According to a report from UAE alone, more than $1 billion is received by India every month. More than $12 billion every year is received from UAE. That is, every month, more than 6,800 crores is received from UAE alone and more than 85,000 crores received every year from UAE alone. Same with Saudi Arabia. Every year, about more than $10 billion are received. That is, more than 70,000 crores are received only from Saudi Arabia. And most of the money coming from UAE, it is sent to the Hindus, to the non-Muslims, not to Muslims. Regarding we receiving funds from Saudi and UAE, yes, we do receive. We have been operating since the past 25 years. And surely we may have received a few crores in all these years. But to say that they have been diverted for political reasons or for Peace TV is a blatant lie. Not a single pie or a single rupee of IRF Bombay is used for Peace TV. It's a big lie. The funds that we receive from abroad are mainly used for educational purposes and for medical aid. We have United Islamic Aid where every year we give approximately 1 crore rupees in uh, for supporting scholarship. Every year we give about 1 crore rupees in scholarship for students who want to do graduation and postgraduate course like medicine, like engineering, for example MBA and various other courses. And it's public knowledge. We give ads that we have a budget of more than a crore rupees every year, which we distribute in scholarship. We also give medical aid. We have free primary health care center in Mumra, where anyone can come and take free treatment. So this is public knowledge and we give it in newspapers. The fund that we collect from India, as well as from abroad, the major portion of it goes into scholarship, medical aids, and in removing the misconception about Islam and in getting the people to know the truth about Islam. And there was an inquiry that was received by us and the people from the Home Ministry, they came two years back and they checked all our foreign collection and where we spent it. I think it came in 2014 and they stayed there, they stayed in our organization for about five to seven days and they scrutinized all the accounts and they gave us a green check. But naturally it was an allegation from some of the Muslims that our funds are misused and the government came and they did a thorough check and they gave us a green check. Now again if they come with a vested interest being pressurized by the political party, the result may be different. But two years back they had done a thorough check. So do you mean to say that every time they have to do a check, 
So they checked all the funds we received from day one till two years back. And they gave us a green check. And what we realized that we were making a mistake. All the funds we received from the NRI, from the Indians living in Saudi and UAE and other parts of the world, we used to count it as a foreign fund. And they told us that if an Indian living in UAE or Saudi Arabia sends money, it is not foreign money, it is Indian money. After they went, we opened a new account called as an NRI account because we thought that any money coming from abroad, even by the Indians, is foreign fund. So actually, this report which says that we received about 10 crores in the last maybe two decades, it also includes the NRI money. If you remove this, the percentage again of the collection would be much smaller. And on an average, counting the NRI money and the foreign money put together, a collection of the foreign funds, NRI and the foreign funds put together is less than 25%. So it's a small percentage. Pure foreign funds is much smaller. So to say that our organization is running only on foreign funds is again a blatant lie. The major funds that we receive are from the Indians living in India. Then there is a small portion that we receive from the Indians living abroad. And foreign funds purely is again a small portion.